So I saw this being reported today while I was at work, and that is police have detained Luigi Mangalato in connections to the unaliving of United Healthcare CEO Brian Thompson. He was detained in Pennsylvania, made his first appearance in a Pennsylvania court tonight, which is Monday night. I highly doubt he's gonna get bail. They, they, I mean, they really believe it was him and they said that he took his mask down. He was flirting with a, somebody at Starbucks, some young lady at Starbucks. And I always say this, man, <laughs> that's what gets you every time, man. You pulling your mask down to smile, smile with a young woman. Look, then got then got caught. But look, let me say this. I'm a, and I'm gonna keep it real. Nobody deserves to get deleted or unalive. So I mean, you gonna have to sit down for a while. But a lot of people are saying he's like a Robin Hood. I've been watching uh, other people talking, other YouTubers, and I'm looking into the reading their comments. And a lot of people, you got 50 feeling 50 percent feeling one way, and then 50 percent feeling another way about this. You know, again, nobody deserves to lose their life. I don't know if if he had kids i'm assuming he had kids i know he had a wife you know and it's not fair to them but at the same time man these corporations have to understand that people are getting tired people are getting fed up with these insurance companies what you gotta understand is people only can only take so much especially when you never know a loved one could have been involved somebody's mother or father they kids you know go back and look at what happened go back and watch the, the movie john q yeah man that's been out man that's been out what a couple of decades maybe i think it came out in 2002 but let's, let's go back and look at john q that's how a lot of people be feeling man and you know these insurance companies they're gonna have to start treating people better nobody should be targeted but you gotta start treating people better you know and until they do that people are going to feel the way they feel about these companies i don't understand how can you pay money for insurance for years right something happens to you they don't want to pay you disability or they don't want to pay you pay for your medical bills you need anesthesia they don't want to pay for that they don't want to do this they don't want to do that i know i got i, I got health insurance and sometimes it's a headache with me as well but you know so and then like i said when it comes to life insurance some now, now they don't want to pay because it is or this technicality or flood insurance all, all these insurance companies man car insurance all of it people are people are tired of it honestly and even like with me i remember being uh 18 years old right i'm under my father's insurance and he passes away so i called the insurance company to let them know you know what they told me they said we dropping you by the end of the month this was the middle of the month at the time in february so this is a short month they said we dropping you in two weeks and i'm like wait a minute i'm in school full time you know i, I don't I, I thought that that was the agreement they was like no nah, we changed them rules you know and, and, we, and we sorry for what happened but you got to go you know and it's, it's things like that man that, that make people angry with these companies again it never should be to the point where you take somebody's life somebody gets unalived but i mean you know but hey when you got people out here losing i mean feeling this kind of pain you never know what people are, li are liable to do so i just want to get my quick thoughts about it tell me what y'all think